We're going to be going through a very important topic, reading the minimap in hardpoint, search, control, whatever it may be. We're going to be going through how to read the minimap effectively to get more kills, understand your teammate's position, your opponent's position, all that good stuff. Sit back, relax, and let's get right into it. So in this immediate position, we are on Vista right now, okay? My teammate... Nope, sorry about that. My teammates are behind me, and I can see somebody on my right. So we're going to look at the minimap, and based on where he's standing, a really, really important tip for you guys, in case you didn't know, on the minimap, when the red dot is level, so you see the red dot now is just, like, standard red dot, it means they're on your level. If it's higher or lower, there will be a small arrow above and below the opponent. I'll show you when it when it turns up. But for now, I know he's on the balcony because we're using the minimap. We're going through. Can you see that faint red dot on the left? That means, I want you guys to focus on the minimap throughout probably majority of this. That means they're coming through the left side so right now he's behind the head glitch we go through immediately i'm looking at the mini map okay and i expect them to be on my left so i'm going to pre-end the left we get one kill and this is what gets really important in this moment i'm looking at the kill feed as well as the mini map why because the kill feed is going to give you another basis of understanding so right now we get three kills as a team what does that mean obviously in rank play there's four opponents so we getting three people dead that means there is one person who we currently haven't accounted for the other three people are going to be spawning up where are they going to be spawning up in this case i expect them to spawn right in front of me so literally where i'm aiming down those stairs so i expect them to be there i want you to pay attention to the mini map and the mini map only right now we're paying attention to the front we're holding it there's a player on my right my teammate gets him we're gonna watch the front we get another kill now in this moment we're doing a really good job i can see two people on the bridge around me so i'm gonna take my time i'm gonna go for those kills and then now this is where the mini map awareness is really impactful my teammate has middle map okay so i'm not really worried about that my teammate has that but if we look at the mini map can you see how my teammate just died I want you guys to pay attention there. You see how my teammate just died middle map? That means as soon as I get this kill, or as soon as I get this kill, I need to turn around because I'm expecting my opponent that was middle map to push me. So we turn around immediately and look at the timing we get. He's expecting me not to read it. So he's trying to push through, get the kill. We end up taking him out. And now once again, immediately, we're going to focus our attention to where we expect them to spawn. You see, we go through, we get the third. So you want to use the mini map to understand not only where your opponents are coming from, but also where your teammates are and when they die, what to pick up. It's one of the most important things in the game. And I think it really does get underrated. On this scenario, we're going to be on Rio here. We see the first player so we get that nice little kill we're just pre-firing him nice and simple once again look at the mini map based on the mini map we know that the opponent is on the right hand side i can basically see that he's around the vending machine okay so now when i go towards the hill there's no hesitation we're going to go in and we're going to slide and immediately center towards the vending machine you want to be able to use the mini map to predict where your opponents are going to be right now my teammates are on the right so i'm expecting them to be on the left so we go through and this is all about looking at the mini map we're expecting them to be somewhere i'm looking at where my teammates are holding i'm like okay my teammate seems to have middle p1 so i should pick up the left we go through we take out one as soon as we take out one we take out the second now once again can we look at the mini map what do we see we see behind us there's a player on our spawn so we see there's a red dot on my right so what does that mean it means when i go to the right now i need to be careful of the pinch and we get the third so without looking at the mini map you're going to be missing so many details once again in this scenario i don't know if they're going to flank us but i'm just thinking okay my whole team are sitting middle and they're watching their side of the hill right we're on p1 they're watching their side of the hill i think that there's a chance that somebody comes through the left by the bridge or through the right by this flank this area here so i'm going to hold it for a second now before i just hold it and waste my time i'm like how can i also be impactful and this is where your equipment comes into it we're gonna chuck our equipment stun nade through the middle now i'm once again going to check the right again i'm going to hold the angle and we get perfect timing now, if my teammate, if somebody else was standing there, wouldn't have held it. It's all about the mini map, about understanding where they're coming from. We look through the left, we see one. We spot the second there, we're gonna go through, we're gonna hold it. Once again, we look at the gaps in the setup. It's all about finding those gaps. Look at this scenario here. There's three people on the red dot, okay? One is in the room in front of me, and there are two on my left. Can you notice the two on my left? Do you notice the player on the on the left of me one of them has a small arrow over their head that means they're on higher ground so i know one of them is in the building and one of them is on the rooftop so immediately i'm going to go for the first player because he's on my level we get that kill now i'm thinking from the enemy's perspective they're going to assume that i'm weak they might be sliding through the door on my left so we're going to go through we're going to go through a different angle here and we're just going to wait we're going to hold the angle as soon as we see him, we're going to add some movement in and go for the drop shot why it just allows me to get that movement and make it harder for him to hit me now once again the other opponent didn't push me so i'm expecting him to be on the left we shoulder it 
We get good timing. We go for the jump shot and we're able to get the three piece. Once again, using the minimap to our advantage to clean up the kills and make it really impactful. It's all about the minimap for me. The minimap is one of the most important skills in the game. It just gives you so much information that you wouldn't otherwise have. And I feel like if you guys are struggling, it does get quite a lot at once. I'll be honest, I'm quite used to it now um, compared to when I start. But whenever I'm trying to coach people, it's like, it is a really hard skill to have. But one thing I would recommend is just look at the minimap when you can and try to analyze the situation. Whether you're right or wrong, you will still learn from it. Like here's a perfect example. I'm using the minimap and I want you to really realize what's going on. I'm not using this to find opponents in this stage. I obviously am trying to find them, but no one's shooting. So right now, instead of using it for that purpose, what I'm going to actually do is say, okay, we're in search and destroy. I want to go through middle. Instead, I'm going to use the minimap to wait for my teammates so we can push together. So now my teammates with me, you see we go through, we jump together, and now we're able to work as a duo. Now I'm playing solo queue with no comms, by the way. So this is really important. We're taking our time, we go through together. My teammate actually baits him in and I get the kill. I was only able to get that kill based on the minimap. Now we go through again. My teammates on the right, what does that tell me? It tells me that that area Area should be safe so we're going through again we're looking at the middle i want you to realize once again the minimap is anybody have the left not really so i'm going to hold it and guess what we see we see somebody shooting on the right he seems to be shooting my teammate so we're going to go through we're going to chase the kill i know exactly where he is he's going to be on the right hand side so what do we do as we come around the corner, we center onto our right. There's no wasting time. We know exactly where he is based on the minimap. Look at the red dot. He's leaning towards the right of the wall. So as we go in, look at our centering. It's literally perfect. We center exactly where it needs to be. We aim in and we get the kill. It's always about the minimap. The minimap is everything. Once again, look at my teammates right now. My teammates are watching the hill. If I was to help them right now, what would happen? Well, we would be three of us watching one area. The problem is we are open to the flank. So in this scenario, I see my teammates holding that side of the hill. I want to help them. But before I do, I'm like, you know what? I need to back away. So I'm going to quickly chuck a piece of equipment, immediately watch the pinch because I think they're going to push us. I'm going to hold the pinch and we get perfect timing now if nobody pinched us there this still would have been worth it because my teammates and myself were trapped in that room if i wasn't watching the flank we were always going to be open to it eventually at least this way we get that kill we're now three versus three on the hill and we have a higher chance of breaking it so make sure to utilize your mini map and just kind of look at what areas are covered see one if you picked up and it allows you to get a lot more map control once again on rio here we're going to go through we're going to be simply looking at the mini map great kills that's three down like i said look at the kill feed in this scenario Scenario, I think they're going to be pushed up. I think they're going to be spawning on the other side. So I'm looking at the mini map and I'm trying to find the empty gaps. I'm like, you know what? I'm actually going to watch the right here through a different area. We're going to go through. We're going to watch it through the top. So you see, we're chucking our stuns, chucking our nades. And I have a feeling, you know what? No one's pushed through the right. Two of them push through middle. What if somebody pinches there? Because there's a high chance, right? Because I know I would have done this if I was them. And there you go. We watch the minimap. We open up the angles. We get the last kill. It's always about identifying the potential threats. It's a really, really big thing that I don't think enough people do. You want to be using the minimap, using the kill feed, using your awareness to pick things up. Right now, we're holding middle. But guess what? Nobody is watching my right. So after 10 seconds, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to hold the right. Now, if they don't push us here, that's okay. My two teammates are advancing over to the point they can control the point i'm okay to watch the flank because even if nobody pushes me here we have it covered you see i'm going uh, between the two angles here and we get perfect timing probably should have been in a better spot but it still worked out okay and i do this all the time i'm constantly looking at my mini map people ask me in solo queue like how do i increase my awareness and like i don't know where people are coming from for me the biggest advice the number one thing you need to start doing looking at your mini map it will help you tremendously I think every single rank you're in, it will help you. Whether you're in silver, bronze, gold, going all the way up to like iridescent, you need to be using your mini map. You need to be advancing with it. You need to be learning from it. Two things to go through. One, using it to identify opponents and opponents pattern, okay? Which is based on the red dots. Two, looking where your teammates are. Looking where your teammates are in the direction they're facing allows you to pick, paint a picture and you can pick up the empty gaps. And three, which I didn't mention, is where your teammates are spawning. When you look at where your teammates are spawning, that means for that second, your teammates have that area of the hill and they're spawning on that side. So you know the opponents should be spawning on the other side of the map, essentially, on the other hill. Makes it a lot easier to kind of uh, just in your head understand the game. Imagine every time you play the game, you have like a UAV in your head. That's what it is when you use the minimap. That's how it kind of feels like when you have good minimap awareness. It feels like you know where people are coming from and it's such a massive advantage. Like right now, you see I'm getting a 3P. 
piece, I know where they're coming from. So it makes it so much easier to get these kills. Without the minimap awareness, I'm kind of just walking into dead end. And especially in a game like this where it's very pre-aim heavy, you're going to die a lot of the time. YouTube, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We are very close to Black Ops 6. The tips and tricks will be flowing throughout Black Ops 6. I know by right, that stage of the season is getting a little bit complacent and everyone's kind of just waiting for the new Call of Duty. I'm in the same boat. I'm waiting as well. But let's make sure we, uh, you know, we're prepared. We're nice and prepared for Call of Duty Black Ops 6. If you guys have any specific kind of questions you have, let me know down in the comments. I don't answer all the comments. I, I will admit I do not answer all the comments, but I read every single one of them. If you guys want any special requests, you can always hit me up on Discord if you want any custom coaching. We do stream on Twitch. Check us out. Link is in the description. YouTube. Catch you guys for another video tomorrow. Peace.